Radio one, all units. The Barbara A. Till Law Enforcement Facility is now 10 8 in service. You can clear 10 8 your traffic. wrestling uh, you know Barbara was an incredible lady she was an incredible mom she she was absolutely beloved by our agency uh, so many people you know had a chance when we went up to Washington to watch her name be put on the memorial in DC had a chance to ride on the bus with so many people that had worked side by side with her some of them had been trained by her some of them were her zone partners and Barbara just meant the world to everybody she was she was that person that you could always go to and talk about something going on in your life she was that person that you knew would always be there for you always be your backup and uh, I think this building is just a tremendous testament to not only what Barbara stood for but everything she stood for how it relates to our agency and uh, I'm very proud of it the teams did a great job in, in all of it the construction teams the design teams our, our county um, manager's office even our, our county commissioner's support for helping get this building this building is uh, just perfectly situated to be able to service the north end of our county and our, um, our north precinct team will certainly have uh, much much better conditions than what they were working in over in what we call modular four so yeah, tell me a little bit about that. How will this building help you do what you do? Well, one of the first things is, is uh, geographically, it is perfectly situated. The North Precinct serves all the way to the county line north and then Port St. John. So by having it strategically located here, it gives us ability to quicker respond to the different scenarios that we may have to, uh, quick access to 95, quick access through um, uh, the Grissom Parkway and everything to get down to Port St. John. So that's the first thing. The second thing is the, the training rooms, the ability, the holding cells. I mean, at Modular 4, when we arrested someone, we didn't have any means to secure them uh, while we were waiting to enter interview them while we were transporting them. Uh, the evidence security that's here now, uh, the, the old building didn't have any of that. And uh, so we, uh, we, we've seen a, a complete enhancement of our, uh, our services through this building. And, and I think it's going to be tremendous for our team. Up here. Has this been a uh, emotionally very trying week for BCSO with this being the two-year anniversary and, of course, yesterday with uh, Deputy Connor? How has is is your unit as a whole dealt with all the emotions of this week? Well, you know, you, you, you can go in this week, we'll block it back to Friday of last week with the situation at the courthouse. Uh, and then, you know, we came right off the heels of that and found out that one of our corrections deputies was missing. And unfortunately, the end of that was um, uh, we no longer have him in our family. We lost him. Uh, but um, uh, today, you know, we, we look at this. This is the anniversary of Barbara's uh, being taken from us, but it's also the, uh, the, the start of a new legacy of, of a, um, a building that is going to serve to represent her and to proudly represent our agency. Uh, every, every time something like this happens, whether it's today or, or what we had to unfortunately deal with yesterday and the scenario that played out at the courthouse, you, you see the strength of this agency. You see the, the um, family orientation of this agency. There's 1,400 members of a family, and yesterday is a perfect example of how many people showed up to volunteer to search for one of ours. Today is another perfect example of that. When you look at how many people from this community, how many people from our agency that came here today to honor Barbara and watch this building take life. All right. Thank you. All right.